Grace and Peace Brunswick family, Laura Abate. Nikki has been starting all the youth steps this way. The church building is closed, but a building is not a church. A church is the people. I really love this. And when I think of Brunswick Church, I think of people who are doers. You are healthcare professionals on the front lines, working long hours and risking your own health to care for others. You are teachers of elementary school, middle school, high school, and college, working to hone online teaching skills and shepherd your students through a stressful time. You are parents now juggling work and having kids at home who are doing their best to learn and missing their friends. You are retired or newly unemployed, but busier than ever looking out for neighbors, volunteering, keeping ministries going and trying to stay positive. You are teen helpers and creatives. You are prayer warriors and servant leaders, and you are exhausted. <clears throat> My elementary teacher colleagues say to the kids, fix your brain and keep learning. I say, fix your heart and keep caring. You are amazing and you need to breathe. Yes, I thought today I would encourage you to breathe. Practice some self-care, do what feeds your soul. What energizes you and fills the well? Favorite music maybe? A book, a bath, a walk, puttering on a project. For me, soul soothing means looking up and whether permitting, we can still do this even during the great pause anywhere we live. In the past couple of weeks, my sky watching family has enjoyed many beautiful sunsets, a super moon, a brilliant Venus, and several very clear sightings of the International Space Station. On a clear night, looking up at a sky crowded with stars lifts our minds and inspires awe. The dictionary defines awe as a strong feeling of respect or amazement brought on by something that is beautiful or sacred. Awe stills us for a moment. Gazing up at the beautiful universe brings us to a place of truth, our smallness, God's bigness. You might guess now that I'm going to read a familiar psalm attrib attributed to King David, Psalm 8. And my Bible has very small print. <laughs> you have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and infants, you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands and you have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Practicing prayer and meditation in beautiful outdoor spaces brings me out of myself and my immediate circumstances and all the things screaming in my face and back to God. Be still, he says in Psalm 46, and know that I am God. Initially, being home and having school closures and limited activities sounded like a chance for brain space. But oddly, I feel like there is more noise during this time than ever. We're glued to our screens and inundated with news, updates, directives, information overload. And when that happens, it's easy to lose our perspective, to not see past what's demanding our attention right now. King David probably didn't write that Psalm on a casual nature walk. If he was sleeping outside, he was likely fleeing for his life from some enemy. But in the midst of crisis, especially then, he could look up and be lifted above his today into eternity. I'll close by quoting a worship song. God of wonders beyond our galaxy, you are holy. The universe declares your majesty, you are holy, God of heaven and earth. Keep being awesome, Brunswick family. Keep finding creative ways to minister and keep being a force for love and grace. And then breathe, be still and look up.